The Compass of Purpose, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight is really birthed out of a point of captivity in the children of Israel and God speaking some encouraging words to them. And I hope it'll be encouraging to you, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Have you ever felt like you were adrift, lost in a fog of uncertainty and doubt? God wants to allow you the compass of purpose to begin to delineate the right path for you to move forward in. In the midst of that fog, that promise shines like a beacon where God is whispering, I know the plans that I have for you. They're not plans of misfortune, but of peace and purpose. Preachers of old reminded us that God doesn't doesn't call the equipped. He equips the called. Our purpose isn't something that we need to frantically search for, but rather a path that unfolds in front of us as we just do the next right thing. Adrian Rogers illuminates this truth by stating, Your purpose is not found in your position, your possessions, your profession. Your purpose is found in a person, Jesus Christ. It's in this relationship and surrendering our hearts to Him that our unique gifts and passions align with His grand design, and we become instruments through which His love flows and His purpose unfolds. So how do we rediscover the God-given purpose in the midst of confusion? First, quiet the inner noise. Sometimes in we need to spend time in prayer reflecting on God's guidance and listen to the still small voice of God as he draws us close to him and into his purposes for our lives. Secondly, steps outside of yourself. Look for opportunities to serve others. God never gifted you to be uh, just a, a, a collection of giftings, but he gifted you to reach out to those around you and to shape their lives and his kingdom in profound ways. Finally, trust the process. God's timing is perfect. Sometimes you'll feel frustrated because it feels like God is moving slow or maybe scared because God is moving fast. But if you can embrace the journey and even the stumbles that that come along the way, God will move in a powerful way to grant you the compass of purpose to guide you. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you that you have guided my life with purpose. I know that communicating your word to men and women, boys and girls, has been my purpose over my lifetime. And God, I know it's looked different in each age and phase that you've brought me through, but I thank you that you've shown me that, and that's added purpose to me. I pray that you just bless these under the sound of my voice. Draw them close to you and to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.